I'm going to pick a combined South Africa Australia 11 and it's really going to piss some Australians off. Controversially, I'm going Timber Bavuma over David Warner. There's no comparison in the calendar year statistically. David Warner averages 45, Timber Bavuma averages 71. Don't come at me, going with Bavuma. Quentin de Kock beats Mitch Marsh on every metric that matters, including average and strike rate. Rassi van der Dissen over Steve Smith every day. He's our most underrated player. Aiden Markram over Manus Labuschagne. Labuschagne averages 49 in the calendar year. Aiden Markram averages 68. He's the full cream of the Proteus lineup. Markram over Labuschagne. Firstly, never forget. Klaassen is probably the breakout ODI player of the year, averaging 55 in 12 matches at an incredible strike rate. Accomplished player of spin, has completely transformed the dynamic of the Proteus. Glenn Maxwell is not even in the conversation. David Miller versus Alex Carey, again, no contest. Carey averages 20 in the calendar year. Miller averages 60. One of the game's great finishes. Marco Janssen cleans out Cameron Green in the all-round stakes. He averages nearly 40 with the bat in 2023. Cameron Green averages 16, albeit in four fewer matches. Janssen is taking 18 wickets at 35, where Green comes in eight wickets at 66. Pat Cummins versus Gerald Kutsia is a hard one. Pat Cummins only returned to fitness in the series against India, where he leaked runs. Gerald Kutsia had a strong start in his international career, taking 14 wickets in six matches. But I'm picking Cummins here because he edges him out with the bat. Stark versus Rabada is another tough one. They've played five and six matches respectively at an almost identical bowling average, and one wicket separates them. It's a gut call for me here. Stark as a lefty at the top of the innings, gold. Keshav Maharaj versus Adam Zampa. I'm going with Maharaj every time. He's so good, so underrated. In closing, Josh Hazelwood against Lungi Ngidi, another tight call here. Hazelwood was excellent against India, I thought, and in the calendar has taken 11 wickets in six matches. Lungi Ngidi showed up well against Australia in the home series, um, but I'm going with Josh Hazelwood here. His experience edges it. Sorry, Lungi, but we dominate the lineup. Mm-hmm. <laughs>